Hey everyone, this is John the Sea Monkey Dude here, and today we're going to do a little bit different type of video. Uh, a lot of people ask me questions about raising sea monkeys and how to take care of them, which is great. I love answering them to the best of my abilities. Uh, one of the biggest questions I get, or most frequent questions I get, is how to clean the tanks. Whether you need to do, you know, water changes and getting rid of algae and stuff like that. Uh, quick answer is... You don't need to do water changes and algae is a good thing. I've got lots of algae growing in my tanks, which you can see, but what I don't like is having tons of algae on the front of the glass on these big ones. You see that? There's a lot growing on there and some growing on this side too. Now on this big aquarium, I typically look at them from the side here when I'm sitting at my desk working or from the front. Now typically, I don't let this algae get this bad, but I wanted to make this video, so I've let it grow longer than usual. So sit back, relax, and watch me clean some algae off the front and right side of this tank. And I'm back. This is one of the few videos where I actually paused it and we got cuts in it. All right, see this thing? This is a huge telescoping pole, aquarium cleaning tool. I don't remember what it was officially called. Oh, you know what? I don't know if I got the... I have the box over there. Higer? Higer? The brand is H-Y-G-G-E-R. I got it from Amazon or eBay. I'm not positive. If I can find the Amazon link, I'll put it in the description. But anyway, this long thing telescopes in and out, so it works with big and small aquariums. And it's got all sorts of different attachments that you can put on the end here. Uh, it's got really wiry ones. It's got one for scraping up gravel. It's got this sponge one, which is what I typically use for cleaning off this nasty algae here. And yeah, that's it. It's also got one that looks like a corner. You know, it's like a sponge like this, but it's at a right angle. So you can get right in the corners. That's pretty cool too. Usually this does the trick though. Uh, since so many people asked, here we go. We're going to clean off the front of this tank. And, uh, yeah, um, you might not be able to see my face. Sorry. But here we go. Lift the lid up here. There we go. And we dip this right in here. Now, typically, I'll do this twice a month or so. It's not an exact science. I just look and see when it's needed. Again, I waited longer than normal this time simply because I wanted to make this video. So I wanted to make sure you could see the algae there. Now the big thing is to make sure you don't squish any sea monkeys. That would suck, right? Especially for them. So I usually angle this so that the bottom of the sponge is pressed against the glass and the rest of it really isn't. So that way I'm not smashing them. Then I'll lift back up. And go down here. This is a little boring and tedious, but it works well. And it's not as difficult as you'd think. Sometimes my arm gets a little sore, but no big deal. So there we go. What's nice about doing this too is, not only is it a little bit of exercise for my arm, um, the algae that we're sort of brushing off or scraping off with a sponge you know, sort of shake this thing off in here. And it's floating around in the aquarium afterwards. Very small particles. And you know what that is? That is food for these guys, and they love it. It's really natural food for them. Again, we want to be careful not to squish anybody. Okay. So I know you guys are either going to love or hate this video. I mean... And I get it. <laughs> Middle-aged man cleaning the aquarium. Yeah. Now, the sides that I don't view from, like this left side over here, obviously I don't look in that side because we've got another aquarium there, and the back, which isn't even uh, clear, it's, it's black, um, I don't scrape the algae off those, ones, so the, off those sides at all. There's really no point. You know, it grows and they eat it and then it's all good. All right, I think this side's almost done. Then we'll go over to the right side. Let's see. 
A lot of times I'll do this, and then once I put the lid back down, and the aquarium's lit up a little bit better, I notice I missed the spot. Depending on how I'm feeling, I go back and get that missed spot, or sometimes I leave it. Okay. Here we go. Let's do the other side here. Again, being very careful, going slow. Don't want to squish these guys. They're small, somewhat fragile animals, right? And they're my pets. Of course I don't want to hurt them. Again, typically I do this every few weeks. And I just bumped my heater a little bit too hard. I'll have to put that back in place as soon as we're done here. So the act of doing this too, not only is it cleaning the sides of the aquarium so I can see my pets better, releasing food into the water for them to eat, which is also a plus, but just breaking that surface tension at the top is good for aeration. So there we go. I think we're looking pretty good. Let's close this up. Yeah, I don't think I missed a whole lot of spots. That's good. So we got and water looks uh, cloudy now because we just mixed all that stuff up. That's okay. You know, that, again, that's food for them. That'll settle and it'll get clear in the next day or so. I'm gonna fix this heater before I forget. Got a suction cup thing with a little holder on the side. There we go. And that's it. That's all I do. Uh, sometimes when that al that hair algae down there is growing way out of control. I'll use a little claw and bring that decoration out and scrape some of that off. Um, but that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that stuff. Take care, you guys. Bye-bye.